Judgment in the matter of the Crown on the application of Worcestershire County Council against the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care. Lord Hamblin will also explain this judgment. This is an oral summary of the judgment in this appeal, which was promulgated on the 10th of August 2023. The background to the appeal. The appeal concerns which of two local authorities is responsible for providing and paying for, quote, aftercare services under section 117 of the Mental Health Act 1983, which I shall refer to as the Act. Section 117 places a duty on health authorities and local social services authorities to provide aftercare services for persons who have left hospital following compulsory detention for treatment for mental disorder under the Act. The duty is placed on the authorities in whose area the person concerned was, quote, ordinarily resident immediately before being detained. The complication in this case is that after being discharged from hospital, the person concerned, JG, moved from the area of one local authority, where she was ordinarily resident, to the area of a second local authority. She was then compulsory detained in hospital for a second time. The question is, which of the two local authorities is responsible for providing aftercare services for her when she left hospital after this second period of detention? Is it the first authority, the appellant, Worcestershire County Council, Worcestershire, which is responsible for providing such services immediately before the second detention? Or is it the second authority, the interested party, Swindon Borough Council, Swindon, in whose area she was living at that time? At first instance, Mr Justice Linden decided that the second authority, Swindon, is responsible. The Court of Appeal reached the opposite conclusion and held that it was the first authority, Worcestershire. Worcestershire appeals against that decision. Swindon has not taken part in the appeal, but the appeal is opposed by the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care. The Secretary of State has also cross-appealed. In its judgment, the Supreme Court unanimously allows Worcestershire's appeal and rejects the Secretary of State's cross-appeal. Lord Leggett and I, with whom the other justices agree, give the court's judgment. The reasons for the judgment. Worcestershire's appeal. The court accepts Worcestershire's alternative case, which is that the duty to provide aftercare services ends when an individual is compulsorily detained in hospital for treatment. This interpretation is grounded in the language and purpose of section 117. First, upon a person's second detention, he or she is no longer a person who has, quote, cease to be detained, but a person who is detained and is in hospital. Secondly, it is implicit in the concept of, quote, aftercare, that the duty does not apply to people who are currently detained, receiving treatment in hospital, but only to persons who have left hospital. And thirdly, the purpose of aftercare, to reduce the risk of readmission, makes no sense in the context of a person who has already been readmitted to hospital. It follows that Worcestershire's duty to provide aftercare services ended upon JG's second detention. <clears throat> upon her second discharge, a new duty to provide such services arose. Which local authority owed that duty depends on where JG was ordinarily resident immediately before the second detention. Both courts below held that this was Swindon, but the Secretary of State challenged that conclusion by his cross appeal. The Secretary of State's cross appeal. Ordinary residents must be one, voluntarily adopted, and two, for settled purposes. Although JG lacked mental capacity to decide where to live, the decision to live in Swindon was still made voluntarily, as it was a result of a choice made by those with the power to make decisions on her behalf. Further, her residence in Swindon was also adopted for settled purposes. The Secretary of State argued, however, that the words ordinarily resident in this context do not bear their usual meaning, but are subject to a special rule of law that if the accommodation in which a person is living is provided by a local authority for the purpose of performing its statutory duty under section 117 of the Act, 
then residents in that place should be disregarded in determining where he or she is ordinarily resident for the purpose of section 117. This rule was said to follow from the decision of the Supreme Court in the Queen, Cornwall County Council and Secretary of State for Health. The court rejects this argument. In particular, first, the Cornwall decision should not be extended beyond the specific statutory context under review in that case. Secondly, there is nothing in section 117 of the Act to suggest that the term ordinarily resident should be given anything other than its usual meaning. And thirdly, the argument is contrary to the decision of the Court of Appeal in the Queen, Hertfordshire County Council and Hammersmith and Fulham London Borough Council, and nothing in Cornwall or the amendment of section 117 by the CARE Act 2014 cast doubt on the correctness of that decision. Indeed, they confirm it. In conclusion, the Court allows the appeal and declares that following the second discharge, Swindon and not Worcestershire had a duty to provide aftercare services for JG under section 117 of the Act. The Court is now adjourned.